Hey hey and welcome back to my let's play series A Sparkling World. Last episode we started building our wall and inside of our wall we also built a little sugarcane farm. So let's uh, check out that first. So as you can see um, it's uh, nicely green in here and let's check out our uh, sugarcane. I think this is more than enough. And as you can see, we've got the paper and the uh, gunpowder in here so we can make ourselves some rockets. So I think this farm is uh, really nice. Um, the only thing that we could change if we don't want the minecart is to remove this glass and let it, push, let it get pushed into a water stream that will put it in, in that chest. But I think that would mean uh, a little bit of loss and I don't want that so yeah we'll leave it like this I'm really happy with it okay so now that we've checked out our uh, sugarcane farm which turned out really nice and we can see the penguin from here but let me not that get distracted from this um, last episode we were uh, a lot over here and I think it's time for a live, little bit of a different scenery so um, this episode we're going uh, to our mushroom village on the other side of our tunnel and um, if I remember I will put also some uh, bone meal on all those signs so we can read them a little bit better. So yeah, um, let me grab some materials from here and then we'll go through a tunnel to our mushroom village and I will talk about what I want to do this episode. And here we go. Um, this was not what I expected, but um, it looks funny. <laughs> and it's easy to kill it. So, um, okay, now that we've cleared out that. Um, let's talk about what we're going to do this week since um, we already done quite a lot on our mushroom village but uh, there's still a lot to do huh? let me jump up again okay so as you can see our, our um, carrot farm and also our village uh, what's called the village breeder um, the connection towards our building our station building is really nasty and it's all made out of dark oak so I want to change that up first of all and once we've done that I think I also want to change up this tower because it looks really strange it doesn't really fit in and next to that we also need quite a lot of uh, detail work as you can see I missed some lanterns on this mushroom and also on our uh, mushroom farm our manual mushroom farm I missed doing some detail work so I want to go through the entire village and just do some uh, detailing work and finish up some things that I forgot or didn't do. And after that, if we have time, I also would like to extend our village a little bit towards this side. And maybe build another building over here so it's, it's not as empty as it is now. I think it would really... It could you really use another building over here and that would make our village even prettier. So yeah, let's get to work and uh, start with cleaning up this side of our village. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, first of all, I want to rip off this entire dark oak trim that I've made over here, like all of this. All the way till here, I want to remove, remove literally all of it. And then once we've removed this part, I think it is uh, also time to also remove the dark oak on top of our uh, villagers and also this entire part I'm going to strip this dark oak out. Okay, so as you can see everything is out now and this is what we 
we, we are left with and um, I think we're going to just copy and paste what we've done here so that would mean that we do um, let's see this part also needs to go I forgot that part okay so uh, if we want to do this roof line we will start out with a full block on top and then a uh, half slab on the top side like this and then on top of that we're going to put in our mushroom blocks like those and we'll also do that on this side so let me also remove this and then we're doing the same thing like this and then a slab on the top level and a mushroom block so now we have to figure out a curve for this roof line i think um if we just do it like this and then in the middle we fill it up with some dark oak and do the same trim with some stairs on top it will work out fine for this entire building maybe this middle part will need a little bit of a bigger but uh we'll see once we get there and then we will change it up if it's if it's needed So and with that uh, we changed the entire look of this uh, villager breeder connection to our station building and I think it looks way better. As you can see I also removed all the cobblestone so we can see our villagers and during uh, the replacing I uh, let them all escape. So uh, there's still one missing. I think it will be, he will be somewhere around the village but I couldn't find him. Um, and if we go in here, we can see that I've got a few villagers in here right now. We already had those two, but they are new and they came from our villager breeder. Uh, but it's fine, we've get, captured them, so they can't get harmed that way. Um, there's only one running loose somewhere in our village, but I can't seem to find him. And yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. So I think that this looks really nice. So what I want to do now is um, address a little issue that I had a couple of episodes ago. And that is Mr. Carrot. Mr. Carrot is missing and uh, he's not coming back. So we, we need a replacement. He won't be nothing like Mr. Carrot. But yeah, let's uh, introduce you to our new villager. And that will be our farm villager in here. Now, okay, so and with that, the junior carrot has his name, and now all we need to do is, um, oh, let me place it on the right spot, is get him to his new home. So there he goes, and hopefully he will just drop straight into his new house. Okay, so let's see, Mr. Carrot is inside of the garden, uh, I mean junior carrot, Mr. Carrot is gone, but this will be our replacement for Mr. Carrot. And I want him to go a little bit more this way so I can pop him out of this. Yes, I hope you will enjoy your new house, Junior Carrot, and that we have got nice traits together. You are awesome. Yes, yes, you can go inside, of course. Um, I have to warn you though, there is a um, zombie villager in front of your house. Um, could you please come back? Hello? I, I think we have to secure it a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is place a trapdoor on this side of the door. So he can't go out at all here. I think that is what happened to maybe Mr. Garrett. So let me grab a, a trapdoor and secure him a little bit better. And then place one over here like that. Let's sleep the night away. So as you 
can see from here, junior carrot is hard at work, it's carrot field. Um, now, um, as you can see in the time lapse, I was starting to put on some red carpet on top of our roof lines. And I'm planning to do that on all the roof lines since it's all mob spawnable and I want to make it a little bit mob safer. Since we've got a wall around it, I think it, it's, it's not a bad idea to spawn proof the entire inside of our village. And that means a lot of red uh, carpet to place on top of all of those roof lines. So as you can see I've done uh, a few buildings but I have nowhere near enough carpet for this so I think we're to start on the tower for now and we continue the carpeting later. So um, for this tower since we're on this roof line we can have a good look at it. You can see that it is cutting in into this roof line and I think it looks really silly so we're going to um, remove this top trim and we're going to raise the tower a little bit higher and then we're going to put up uh, a mushroom roof on top of our tower fix up this roof line a little bit and maybe make a little bit of tweaks on our windows and then we'll call it good again but for now it's just too much of an eyesore so uh, let's get started with removing that trim the bottom is out of cobblestone so I think the top side of the tower should be white mushroom blocks and uh, a trim of dark oak in between and then some mushroom blocks on top for the roof line. Okay so I removed the top of our tower as you can see it looks a bit rough right now but that's fine and we're going to start at this height just uh, uh, where the windows are. So I think if we just um, do a dark oak trim right now, it will be fine. So um, let's see. Let's start with a trim of dark oak like this. And then on the outside of this, we're going to put in um, our stairs and our slabs. So one stair and then a slab, a stair, a slab in the corner. Or do we now let's leave that out one stair another slab stair and then on this corner the same stair slab and a stair okay let's remove this let's also pop out that and put in a stair and then from here we're going to raise the tower a little bit i think Yeah, let's raise it from here. Let's put in those slabs just in case we need them. So from here we're going to raise it at least one block. So let's just go all the way around. And then since I also want to put on a planter, we, uh, we can start our window from here or one higher. And then our window, I would like it one too high at least. Um, so let's go one more so we can go over the top of our roof line. I think if we want to do that then we need uh, maybe yeah. So let's uh, raise this one also a little bit up. So we've got a little bit more room to play with. Um, this one will also need to be a white one. And those also. Those are white. And one more. I can't 
see those two, so let's put in a uh, a full block. So let's raise everything till here. Oh, we don't have enough white mushroom blocks. Um, hmm. Um, let's see. So I wanted a window too high from here. So there should be one more block on top of this. Let me just take this block for now. So we can at least uh, see what we want to do from here. So from here, I think I would like to um, put in... A trim for our roof line so we know where that will be so we're doing it just like we did on the lower floor like so so now we have to fill all this blank space in with some white mushroom blocks and we're going to put windows on all three sides not that one because you can't really see that one so yeah let me uh, just jump down and we're going to go to my mushroom uh, grower in here in this house we can grow our own mushrooms so that's what we're going to do as you can see we already have two and then I have to grab my bone meal uh, grow them and harvest them just so we have enough white mushroom blocks to do this so yeah let me do that and I'll see you once I finish this line of white mushroom blocks okay so I get enough white mushroom blocks to uh, fill this uh, spot entirely in um, I'm going to change this bit a little bit later, so I'm not worried that it doesn't fit for now. Uh, let's just jump over to the other roof line like this and start on our uh, mushroom roof. So let's start over here and overhang it by one. And we're just going to do this uh, all the way around. And then uh, we're going to uh, do sort of that roof line. On top of this so let me try to re recreate that and this is what the roof line looks now that it is in I think it looks nice uh, the only thing that I I don't like is that it is flash with the dark oak so we're going to do something similar to that we're going to pop out those corners and put in a uh, oak trapdoor so let me grab those and pull her up with some scaffolding and fix this Okay, so I popped out the corners and we're going to pop in some oak. So we have a, uh, a nice surface to put on our trap doors. Like so. And that are, is what we're going to do on all sides. As you can see, that's looking way better. Okay, so I did uh, the trap doors underneath our roof line on all four sides. And I also decided to continue with our, the, the flower boxes and uh, the hanging lanterns. I just wanted to finish it so you could see the end result. So this is what it become. And uh, let me show it from all sides. So you have a better view. So over at this side it looked a little bit strange. So I put in a dark oak strip. And I raised this window all the way to the top. So it's nice and open now. So let's also take a look inside. So you can see what it looks like now, now that we've changed it. So we come in here into our living area, then towards the staircase. And if we look up, it's nice and open. And I made it spawn proof by some putting some lanterns on top of there. And if we go in here, this is the bedroom. And now we've got a nice big window over here. And it looks really nice. And you can even see all the flowers from there. So yeah, I'm really happy with uh, the change that I've made on this build. It looks way better now that the tower is uh, built in two parts. The stone part and the white mushrooms. And the roof is also more in line with what we've built overall in this area. So yeah, and um, what I'm going to do now is... Um, uh, I'll put also some flower boxes on these uh, windows and also on the trading hall that we don't use yet and the other trading hall. And furthermore, I'm going to put in some more lanterns hanging from the building like this. Uh, because most of those buildings don't have that much lanterns on them and I really like that little detail on it. 
and once I've put in all those little details uh, we can continue with collecting a little bit more red uh, wool for ourselves so we can carpet a little bit more of those roof lines. So as you can see I've put in a lot of details all over those builds. You can see I put in some extra flower pots around the, the trading hall and I also hang some lanterns all around our builds. And after that I collected a lot of red carpet and uh, continued uh, carpeting all of our roof lines including our mushroom palace and now that that is all done We've got some time left to start a new build over here and I want it to be here on the edge of the village. So uh, let me lay out a plan for what I'm going to do and then let's start building. Okay, so I uh, collected all my materials and made a little workstation and this is the blueprint that I want to go for. This will be the, the foundation and from here I'm going to build it up. So uh, let's start with building in a dark oak trim just like we've done on those builds and that one and after that we're going to go to put on some white mushroom blocks for the second floor and after that another dark oak trim and a mushroom roof line And with that we've got a new home. So let's take a look inside since I've only showed the outside in the clip. Uh, let's take a look inside and yeah, see what we think of it. So if we come in we've got a pressure plate so the doors close behind us. 
it like this. And then we've got a bottom floor with a little kitchen, some storage. Um, I have to still put some water in the sink. And then a little dining area with a nice painting. And then over here we've got a nice view over the river with some nice roses. And then over here we've got our seating area with a fireplace. And that crackly out is so nice. Yeah. Okay, so uh, and some more shelves on this side. And a little window for some more daylight. And then if we go upstairs, we've got another seating area. But this time it's more of a study with some bookshelves. And if we walk through, we go into the master bedroom. With another nice painting and some... A lot of view from here so I really like this especially with the depth that I did with extra interior walls really nice and then if we go this side we've got a little study area with a desk and again a little room for some extra daylight and of course our fireplace continues on the second floor so we also have the nice effect on this side and that's, that's this build. I really like it and I think it, it finishes this area off quite nice. It was so open before and now we've got a nice uh, curving uh, villager house right at that corner and I think it suits so nicely. And with that, I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!